my name is Valerie. Today I'm going to show you a real book about this family who lives in a dumpster and has a lot of twists and turns and a lot of struggles that come at them and they have to learn how to be adaptive and um, adapt to their struggles and challenges. Read with Val. Read on, have fun, and dream big. So this book is called The Rent Collector, and I'll explain why just in a second. And it is a, um, it's a biography book about this family, and it is a real story, which is, I find it fascinating. And I would rate this book a 10 out of 10. So in The Rent Collector, the main character is Sang Lee, and she is a 29-year-old woman who lives with her family, her husband, Ki, and her son, Nisei. Um, Nisei. And they live at the largest dumpster in Cambodia. And the only way to make money is for Ki and uh, Sang Lee to go into the garbage and find and fish um, metal and things that might be valuable. So, of course, this is a really hard way to work. Everyone, there are a lot of workers that are trying to fish out the metal in order to feed their family. Working at the dumpster is very, very challenging. Very, um, there's so many challenges. Number one, the garbage can start a fire. It's flammable. And there are a lot of garbage fires that happen. Number two, there's a lot of polluted water. When the water comes, um, when the rain comes, the water is really polluted. It's, it's like terrible. There's no proper drinking water because the garbage is the the garbage the water kind of soaks up the garbage and number three in the hot sun it's really hard to stay hydrated when they don't have enough money for water and food in the first place it's very hard to scrape by for uh sing lee and ki and the same now we get to the interesting part of the book and it is an interaction between so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Sophia Sin and um Sang Lee. So Sophia Sin is an old woman who's always drunk and she owns all the houses in uh the Cambodian dumpster. The houses quote quote big quotation marks because it's basically a three walled shack. And there is no fourth wall. There's no furniture except for their sleeping like mats sort of. But besides that, that is it. That's all they can afford and um they have to pay to be up sin every single I think month and most of the time Sangley doesn't have their rent because it's really hard to survive and buy food and water, not like let alone pay the rent. And so one day, Sophie Epson comes to collect Sang Lee's rent and she doesn't have it. And then Sophie Epson looks at this book that Nisei, uh, Sang Lee's son has, and she becomes very distant, very weird, um, not angry or like mad at all from before because she was mad at Sang Lee for not having the rent and now she's becoming weird, distant, um, um, sort of emotional in a state that Sang Lee has never seen the old woman. So Biafsan eventually takes the book um, and with, with Sang Lee's permission and offers to, to in return of the book 
not collect the rent for a whole entire month. And this is like crazy for um, Sing Lee. And while, while Sir Piopson picks up the book, Sing Lee can tell that she is reading the book. And this is a main point, a key point in the story. Because Sing Lee realizes that Sophie Epstein can read. And that is just what Sing Lee wants. And so, um, Sing Lee asks Sophie Epstein for lessons to read and to write and to understand the words and the meaning behind words and the literature. And she says some convincing, but Sophie Epstein says yes eventually. And they become closer friends, um, even though in the first place, Sophie Epson was, every time Sophie Epson came by, it was like a nightmare to Stanley because she was there for rent. But as the lessons go by and as they get to learn one another, Stanley needs to figure out, first of all, how does she know how to read? And most people who know how to re read are wealthy, so why? And how did Sophie Epson end up at the largest garbage dumpster in Cambodia? What happened to her? Why did she get here, right? Um, and what, like, what's her past? Um, and that is what Sang Lee wants to know. And as she becomes closer to Sophie Epson, as she, um, as she takes the lessons, with Sophie Epson, she wants more and more to uncover the truth behind um, Sophie Epson. She eventually figures out her past, which is crazy. And I, uh, and if you wanna find out what happened to her, what happened to Sophie Epson in the past, read on to find out. Um, okay, so that's not the only struggle, paying the rent and paying for food and water. Also, Nisei, Nisei is very, very sick. Nisei is her three-year-old son, or two and a half, I'm around that age, two or three. And he's really sick. The name of the garbage dumpster is, in translated to English, is the River of Victories, which makes you think, like, oh my gosh, it's like... Um, a village near the river like that's what I thought it's a village near the river and like they're so prosperous prosperous because like the river is making them like win growing a lot of crops and stuff like that but no it's um translated back to um it is the largest com like the name of the largest dumpster in Cambodia and um when Nasai gets sick. Well, he's been sick since he was born, and Sang Lee knows obviously it's because they um, live at the River of Victory. And I watched the I watched the trailer to the documentary because the author Cameron Wright, um, Cameron Wright's I think brother or sister sibling did a documentary on this family and I saw the trailer and it's the actual place that they lived. It's the actual characters in real life. And I saw Nisei and he was so, he was really cute, but he, his arms and legs were really, really skinny. And then his belly was huge. And in the book, in the book, Sang Lee says that he has diarrhea a lot, like every single day, multiple times a day. And he is distant, he he doesn't eat, he doesn't have appetite, and it's obvi obviously why he's sick, because he lives at the dumpster, and Sang Lee obviously loves him very, very much, and Sang Lee needs to figure out how to save him and how to um, cure him and how to heal him, and that is also another huge struggle that happens in this book. The last thing I will say about this book is um, I talked about all the struggles of um, like naturally living in a garbage dumpster, like the fires, the polluted water, um, like just the atmosphere in general.
there are also gangs that roam this large dumpster. Many, many gangs have killed people, have um, definitely hurt people and robbed people. And during this book, Key, um, Sing Lee's uh, husband has gotten robbed, um, like, I think two or three times. Like, it's crazy. These gangsters and these gangs are also very, very dangerous to the communities that live in um, the River of Victory. I recommend this book to kids between the ages 9 through 12, and I hope everyone enjoys this book. I'm planning to watch the documentary, and I think it'll be really fascinating. So I hope everyone enjoys this book as much as I do. Remember to read on, have fun, and dream big. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!